Well, last summer, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that a city has the right to take private property to increase an area's economic development. Now, what makes this a landmark ruling is not that eminent domain is being used to condemn private property, because that's often done to build such things as roads and other public works. The difference here is that once the city takes control of the land, it then can sell it to a private developer, essentially allowing government to favor those uses that provide the highest tax revenues. You can imagine just how controversial something like this is, which is why state lawmakers are working on legislation that would limit the scope of eminent domain. Well, Oklahoma voters could soon decide if eminent domain can be used for private economic development. Representative Mark Leota is author of the bill and says current law is confusing. Section 23 of Article 2 prohibits the taking of private land for private development outright. It just says it is, uh, you cannot do it in Oklahoma. But in uh, Section 24, the taking of private land for public use is allowed, and uh, it's very specifically left up to the courts to decide uh, what uh, constitutes a public use. So in one section it's prohibited, but in the second section it's allowed and, and left up to the courts to decide whether or not that can occur. Leota says those statues worked up until the Supreme Court decision that now allows private land to be taken for private use if there is a public benefit. In Oklahoma, we are literally one court decision away from Kelo in Oklahoma, from um, uh, your property being taken uh, for a private development if there is public benefit to it in terms of economic development. And that worries farm groups. Because agricultural land is taxed at a lower rate, development here would undoubtedly raise tax revenues, but also hurt state farmers. In a public hearing before a legislative task force on eminent domain, the head of the American Farm Bureau testified that condemning public land for private use could devastate agriculture. Agricultural land is particularly vulnerable to this type of condemnation. First, there's a lot of it. Agricultural lands, especially those in expanding exurban areas, provide a ready source for potential shopping malls or industrial parks. Second, agricultural lands are relatively inexpensive in comparison to residential or commercial property, making the condemnation less costly. Yet some worry that new restrictions on eminent domain could hurt economic development. Ron Cup is with Oklahoma State Chamber of Commerce. I believe in terms of economic development, it's probably the, the, the most important question we'll take up this decade. I, uh, it, there are so many growing communities in Oklahoma that need some type of economic development tool, and this is one of the tools they've relied on for many years. Cup says while he respects private property rights, he believes eminent domain can help turn an area around. He says without it, Oklahoma City's brick town would have never been built. There's also the private property act, uh, it, private property issue, and we want to be fair about that. Obviously, the U.S. Constitution guarantees your right to own property, and we certainly don't want to uh, usurp that, that right. But from an economic development standpoint, if there's a legitimate purpose and there's a blighted area, then we think we ought to be able to do that. But those representing rural interests disagree, saying there are better alternatives to improving local economies without condemning private property. We believe that communities can do things to create incentives for economic development. And there's a, there's a lot of discussion about rural development uh, in the context of the new Farm Bill discussions. And so it's an important issue. But the solution is not giving governments the ability to condemn private property for someone else's economic gain. I'm not suggesting that there's going to be a free-for-all where all private property is now going to be um, uh, in danger. But that potential will exist for every piece of private property. I think it's important to protect private property rights because it is a fundamental part of being an American, the ability to own your own home. And I think people uh, understand that uh, if you don't have property rights, what protects the rest of your rights? If approved by the legislature, voters will decide the future of property rights in Oklahoma come November.